So we're going to be looking at how to use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Great. So this is what the formula looks like. The negative of our B value plus or minus the square root of all of that. It's a little longish. So what we're going to do, we're just going to have to identify the ABC values and just substitute them inside this formula. Are you ready to try that with me? All right, let's go. So the reason why we would use the quadratic formula is because sometimes you won't always have factors of AC that will sum to the B value and sometimes that can be just crazy. So if you look at this, our A value, let's just take them down. The A value would be one or B value would be negative 2, and the C value would be negative 10. A times C in this case would be negative 10. What are the factors of negative 10 that can sum or add up to negative 2? We don't have any. So because we don't have any factors, any direct factors like that, then we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. There we go. So we just took our ABC values, and we're going to substitute them inside of the quadratic formula so that we can get uh, some answer for x. All right, so where students normally go wrong, they always leave off that negative. That's why it's in bold. So I'm going to put negative. And in brackets, I'm going to put the b value. What was the b value? Negative 2. Nothing wrong if two negative they beside each other, that's perfectly fine. So you're going to have a negative two inside the bracket here. So it's a negative, negative two. That is good. The rest of the formula says plus or minus. So I'm going to put back plus or minus. Good. Following the formula, square root, and it's a long square root sign. So my own is supposed to be long as well. We need the B value again, negative two. I'm going to put it in brackets and it says that I must square that B value so I'm going to square it following the formula it says minus so minus it says 4 go down then it says the A value A was 1 so in brackets now I'm going to put that one C value that was negative 10 in brackets I'm going to put that negative 10 great I'm not done yet because the formula said all divided by 2a. So I have to go divide all of this over 2 times the a value, which was 1. Great. So we just substituted. I remember so x must be equal to all of this. Good. So once you can do that, you're halfway there. So what I need to do now is to just work it out step by step. All right. So, I'm going to show you that nothing wrong with the two negatives beside each other. So, negative, negative 2 ends up giving me a positive 2. So, nothing wrong if a negative is beside another negative. So, this works out to be a positive 2, right? Plus or minus, square root, all of this now. So, I'm just going to take my time, work it out negative 2 and i'm squaring that it will give me negative it will give me a, it should be a positive 4 right so negative 2 squared all right watch me negative 2 and i'm squaring that i should get 4 so watch out for that right because a negative times another negative will give us a positive when we're squaring it so this works out to be 4 good i need to work out all of this so I have a minus there, and I need to work out 4 times 1 times a negative 10, and see it work out to be negative 40. So I have this minus here, and the, when I work out this part, I get minus 40. See that? And it's going to be all over 2 times 1, 2. And I'm just taking my time, working it down. Good. So I'm going to have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 
a negative beside a negative like that turns into a positive. So I'm going to have plus 40 all over 2. So I'm just taking my time, working it down. So x is going to be equal to 2, plus or minus. We need to find 40 plus 4, or 4 plus 40 works out to be 44, right? So we need to find the square root of that 44. In the calculator, square root of 44, that will give us 6.63. So, 6. 0.63 and I'm going to divide all of this by 2. Reason being, that's what we had coming down. The A value was 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. Good. So now what this means is x is going to be equal to 2 plus 6.63 divided by 2 and uh, X is also going to be 2 minus 6.63 all divided by 2. Reason being is because of this sign. The formula says that we must plus and minus. So we'll have to do it two times. One time you add it, the next time you subtract it. So we're going to put this in the calculator and see what we end up getting. All right. 2 plus 6.63 is equal to some number and then we're going to divide that now by 2 and we end up getting 4.32 so x is going to be approximately 4.32 and we need to work out the other side as well it's going to be 2 minus the 6.63 going to get some number and then we're dividing that by 2. We end up getting negative 2.32. So this works out to be x is equal to negative 2.32. It's just as easy as that. There's no trick to it. That's just it. So these are the two values of x that we're searching for. So all you have to do is to just remember these little tricks. These are the things that you need to look out for because this is where we normally make errors. We normally make errors here. We will have that negative and negative. We normally make errors here. Right? And we normally make errors here. Good. And pretty much that's it. That's all. Example number two, we're going to solve 2x squared minus 5x minus 9 is equal to 0 using the quadratic formula. Good. And I have already gone ahead and identified our ABC values. The right here is 2, B is minus 5, and C is minus 9. So all we're going to do is to substitute those values inside the quadratic formula to get an answer. So let's go. So x should be equal to the negative of the b value. And the b value was minus 5. Good. We are going to then add and subtract the square root of the b value squared. And the b value was the same minus 5. So it's minus 5 squared this time. And then we're going to subtract, because the formula says subtract. So we're going to subtract for AC. A was 2. So I'm putting it in brackets, meaning I'm going to multiply. And then C was minus 9. Great. We're not done yet, because the formula says to divide all of that by this 2A. So I'm going to divide all of this, all of this by 2a and a was 2 this time so it's going to be 2 good so i just substituted correctly so now it's time for me to work it all out good so the opposite of a negative is positive so negative and negative as we would say here like this gives us a positive 5 right there plus and minus we need to square root 
Yep. Negative 5 squared, which is negative 5 times negative 5. Negative and negative will give us a positive, and 5 by 5 will give us 25. Great. And then now we need to work out all of this. There's this big minus, so I'm going to put it back. And then we'll have that 4 times 2 times negative 9, and that gives us negative 72. So I have minus minus 72. Great. All over, 2 times 2, everybody knows it's 4. So I'm going to put 4 here. Good. So when you see the signs looking like this, the negative and the negative right there, we can simply rewrite it to being a positive. Great. So at some point in time, it means I'm going to have to add 25 plus that 72. And that will give us 97. Good. So this part, we're going to just simplify it down some more. So x is equal to 5 plus and minus the square root of 97 all over 4. Good. So we need to find the square root of 97. So square root, this is the button, 97. Great. That's 9.85. When I run it to two decimal places, so it's going to be x is equal to 5 plus or minus 9.85. 9.85. All divided by 4. So with that said and that done, we can solve for x easily. So x is going to be equal to 5 plus 9.85 all over 4. And x is going to also be 5 minus, this time because of that sign, 9.85. Remember, it says all over 4. It says plus or minus, so you have to do it two times. One where you're adding and the next one when you're subtracting. So we're going to put this in the calculator and see what it gives us. So we're going to have 5 plus 9.85. Great. We'll add that and then divide it by 2. A lie, a lie, and a 2. I divide it by 4. So you see, I just made a mistake. So it's going to be 5 plus 9.85. We'll get some answer. And then we're going to divide it by 4. Great. So we're going to get 3.71 when you round it. So this is 3.71. Good. Try not to make a mistake that I made. It says divide by 4, so I must divide by 4. Let's do the second part now. So it's going to be 5 minus 9.85. We'll get some answer. And then we're going to divide that now by 4. So we end up getting negative 1.21. So x is equal to negative 1.21. Now that x to look like x. Good. So these are our final answers. Or the roots. Or the solution. Using the quadratic formula. And not too bad. All we're doing is just substituting, adding and subtracting, square rooting and multiply. And that's it.